Explosion welding is one of the joining methods consisting of a solid state welding process in which controlled explosive detonation on the surface of metal is done. During the collision, a high velocity jet is produced to remove away the impurities on the metal surfaces. Flare plate or cladder collides with the base plate resulting in a bonding at the interface of the metals. The metal plates are joined at an internal point under the influence of a very high pressure and causes considerable local plastic deformation at the interface, in which metallurgical bonding occurs in nature and even stronger than the parent metals. Here we have to note a point that the plastic deformation is occurring over here. One of the features of this welding process is that similar and dissimilar metals can be joined by this process. Diagram and working animation. This is a schematic arrangement for explosive welding. The main component in this welding process are First one, this is parent metal or base plate. We put it on the anvil. Above it, we put a flare plate with some gap which is called standoff distance. It is placed using guided pins to keep the uniform gap in between both the flare plate and parent metal. And right above it, we put some explosive uniformly. It is utterly important to decide and calculate the quantity of explosives and velocity of explosion. Later, detonation is started by using detonator switch. And it is also important to start detonation from one end of the cladder. Then the detonation moves upon the upper layer of cladder at the uniform speed. And this explosive front progressively drives cladder plate downward to the base plate at a very small collision angle caused by the standoff gap. Due to this, a high velocity plasma moves in the direction of detonation, which forces the impurities and other oxide to get removed between the plates which makes the high quality of welding possible. Important fact, we could attain a pressure of 2 million pounds per square inch of pressure using the explosion.